Hello you guys, uh, today we're gonna do a uh, key for uh, 03 C4 BMW. Um, it's using the EWS system. So they always located somewhere around that area of the car or in some models about here. But this is gonna be the box that you're gonna need to disconnect. So it's usually held by a small nut like that that you're gonna need to take off for one side and then the other one. And after you do that, you're just gonna unplug it. So after it's unplugged, it's basically gonna be like that. Um, we're gonna go in the computer and we're gonna do the programming for this. So we're gonna do the programming uh, of those keys using uh, the AK90 known for those systems so we're just gonna open up the AK90 um, you can press connect and then we're gonna need to read the EIS so on this one we're gonna see it's called the EIS 3 um, so the connector that we're gonna use is gonna be this one also to take it out so you're gonna pull up the part the top and then you're just gonna click those clicks in and the board will slide right out so in order to go for the uh, right uh, place if you're gonna see over here it's a little bit harder to show but on the chip itself it's gonna say what kind of chip it is so we're just gonna do here and as soon as you're gonna press this it's gonna show you if you have the right chip so this is the right one, shows exactly the same. And the hacking that we're gonna use for this is gonna call the towel trick. So if you're gonna put a towel on the bottom, it's gonna help it to read it uh, way better. You're gonna look for the edge on the chip itself. That's gonna be this edge, which you can see it's kind of on an angle. So, on your cradle, you're gonna have one of the edges. It will be the same exact thing. It's gonna be this one. So if you're gonna place it right above it and press with it, and then go to read the IS on the screen, and then we're just gonna press okay and okay. And as you can see, instead of fighting with that and waiting for that to read, if you put the towel, it's just gonna read on the first time, just like that, with one hand on that. After you get a reading, you can release your hand. The file name will be saved as the VIN, so you don't need to do any modification for that. You're just gonna hit save. So the VIN file is saved correctly. Uh, the way it should be. Now we're gonna go about and write the keys. So this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go about and write the key. So we're just gonna press write key. We're gonna choose slot number seven. We're gonna choose this option. And we're gonna go write key. We're gonna place the key in the coil. Okay, so the key was written successfully, so you just slide it in like that, so the chip will be as the bottom as it gets, and then you can press OK. You're going to need to put the uh, EWS back in the car, and that's going to try starting it. So after we wrote the key, we're just going to go inside the vehicle. We're going to put the key in on position. We're going to pull it out, and we're going to put it again. And now it should be able to start the car. So this one is manual. Looks like there is not enough battery, but I think as far as the immobilizer, we are all good. So this is how we do a key for our EWS system. 
gonna go about and programming the remote. So I'm just gonna sit in the car. We're gonna close the door. I'm gonna put the key in on position. Pull it out. Press the lock button. While holding it, you're gonna press the unlock three or more times. So we're gonna press the lock and then the unlock. Just like that. After you did that, you can just open the door and programming is done for the remote.